Hello everyone. Today we will solve another problem. Another correlative problem. Now we are solving problem. Lesson number 5. And this is the last one for lesson 5. And the problem name is passing curve. What is the problem statement we have to read? A non empty array A consists of n integers is given. The consecutive elements of array A represent consecutive cars on a road. Array A contains only 0 and 1. 0 represent a car traveling from east side and 1 representing car traveling from west side. And the goal is to count passing car. And this is the information about how car will be passing and this is the very important we should understand this thing they already mentioned array will contain only 0 and 1 value and 0 will represent from east side traveling and 1 will represent from west side traveling so from 0 1 0 3 0 4 it's from east side is is providing the information it's traveling from both side that's why how many passes 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 3 0 4 later 0 1 that means 2 3 0 1 2 4 this is the output and this is very important information we should check this condition when we will implement the code if the condition will fulfill then we will get 100% result now let's start to solve this problem and we should solve this problem based on this information write an efficient algorithm for the following assumption and this array will give us output 5 it will return 5 so that means it will return integer value and count we are initializing value and return count and count zero equal to is We will count how many zero we have inside the array and how many one we have inside the array. Then we will easily find this answer. Then now we should use the for loop. I is smaller than a dot a and the th length i plus plus. And plus plus means it will increment the value. At first i it will check the 0 index number 0 8 index after that 1 after that 2 until n minus 1 then then at first we have to check if array below equal to 0 or not if it's 0 then count zero plus plus it will increment count if it will get one zero then it will count one if two then it will count two that's why plus plus it will automatically increment the count later another statement inside this statement we have to check inside the array we have any one or not if yes then we should do like this way later what we have to do i already mentioned we have one more important statement is this one a 
if it will be exceed this value then we have to return one minus one because it's written minus one let's try to check is it working or not what is the problem why it's showing return problem am i doing any mistake yeah now it's fine understand because it's not supporting the comma that's why it was mistake so it's work fine with our example test now let's try to submit and check the output Yeah, it's fine. The score is hundred percent. So we fulfill all the requirements, all the condition. That's why we get hundred percent result with large alternate. It it's work fine. Large big answer. It's work fine. Large random. It's work fine. So everything is working fine. Okay, take care, everyone. Thank you very much. See you in my next video. Take care. Bye.